Hey guys, what's happening? So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We usually make videos about iOS, Android, Windows, but today we're gonna make a video about macOS. Now, the thing is macOS powers MacBooks and those MacBooks work on power provided by batteries. And we are gonna talk about how to charge those batteries the right way. Must seem a bit intriguing. Well, if it is, this is Gona. You're watching Guy in Tech. Let's get started. Now, the thing is that each of these batteries that are inside your MacBooks are lithium ion batteries. And lithium ion batteries have a specific battery health, which consists of a thousand cycles. Now, you must be wondering what does a cycle, a battery cycle, mean? This is basically your battery being charged from 0% to 100%. Whenever that charge is complete, you go through one cycle. And every battery, mostly in MacBooks, has a battery health of 1000 cycles. After the battery goes through 1000 cycles, the battery health is reduced. So the battery life of your MacBook will be lesser than the day you bought it. Simple as that. Now, in order to protect your battery from getting to that place where the performance is reduced, you need to avoid charging your MacBook to 100% all of the time. If you do that, the more cycles are going to be taking place and the lesser will be the battery health of your battery. Hence, in order to tackle this, Apple introduced a system called the Optimized Charging System on the MacBooks, which you have to enable on your MacBooks in order to protect the battery health in the long term. Now, most of the people watching this video might already know about this. If you do, that's great for you. But if you don't, watch this next part very carefully. First, click on the Apple icon in the top left corner of the screen. Open the System Preferences. Click on Battery. Select Battery from the sidebar on your left. Then, enable the check mark beside Optimized Battery Charging. Now, through this, macOS will smartly understand your usage patterns and whenever you start charging your laptop, it will charge up to 80% really fast. But after that, it's going to slow down. And that period and that amount of time it takes from 80 to 100% is decided based on your usage patterns. Now, this also comes in helpful for those people who connect their MacBooks to an external monitor and then they continue to use it. So in that scenario as well, it, it will charge up to 80% and after that, it will take all the time it needs to get to 100%. Just to, in the long term, protect battery health of the battery cell on your MacBook. But even with this feature, it's not really enough because the fact is that this feature takes a long while to kick in and even when it does, the only way, the only percentage that you can select, the maximum percentage that your battery will be charged to is 80%, not 60 or 70%. And that's where this new software comes in called El Dente. El Dente basically allows you to put in the number, the percentage to which your MacBook should be charged. And it also offers a bunch of other features along with this. This most people would not know. So all of you hear this next part carefully. So the first thing you do is obviously install the El Dente app, open it on your Mac, go to the appearance menu and enable the relevant menu bar icons. Select the El Dente icon in the menu bar and specify the charge limit on your Mac. And that's all. Apart from this, El Dente also has some other features which are great, but for that you'll need to get the Pro app. Charging your MacBook at a high temperature can be hazardous and El Dente can detect if your MacBook's temperature is high while charging. And if it is so, the app disables charging for safety. But for this feature, you obviously need the Pro app. Apart from this, El Dente also displays hardware battery percentage, live status icons in the menu bar, the ability to stop charging on sleep mode and dark theme support. But all of them only come with the Pro version of the app. And the cost of the Pro version is on your screen. Now, El Dente, even though a great app, has a Pro version and does not provide you with as much information if you just want to get to know everything about the battery life of your MacBook. So for that, you have this app called Battery Status Show. It's an open source app and it shows you a bunch of different things about your battery life. And apart from all of this, obviously, this app will also allow you to put a maximum limit till which your laptop will be charged. In order to get to this app, you just download the app from GitHub, then install the app on your MacBook and open it. 
The battery status show will appear in the Mac menu bar. Then you will see all the information regarding your battery and there'll also be a change button. Press that and you can select whichever charging limit you want to put on your MacBook. And now, since you know a little bit more about your battery life and about the apps that can help you protect the battery health of your MacBook, there is a way to check the current number of battery cycles that your battery has gone through along with the battery health of your MacBook. So for that, follow these steps. Click the Apple icon in the top left corner on the menu bar. Select About This Mac from the following menu. Click on System Report. Select Power from the left sidebar. Check Battery Condition, Maximum Capacity, Cycle Count under the Battery Information menu. So these were some of the ways that you can get to know more about your battery life on the MacBook along with protecting it for the long term. We here, all of us, mostly use El Dente. But if you have some other pick, you're welcome to share it in the comments with us. That's pretty much it. If you like the video, like it. If you love the video, press the red subscribe button. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that. You'll get notifications for all of our videos from now on. This has been Gaurang. And I'll see you in the next one.